Microsoft Edge, the much less terrible successor to Internet Explorer, and Google Chrome, one of its most popular alternatives. Today, these two are going to battle it out against malware links and phishing websites. This is Leo, and you are watching the PC Security Channel. So we have a total of 10 links, 5 of these drop malware files, and 5 of these attempt to steal your data by pretending to be something else. We're going to check the final score out of 10, and as a standard for this video, we're going to count any kind of notification or pop-up or alert as a block. I'm not saying that that's the way most people use their computers, but that is what we'll have to assume as a standard for this test. So any kind of notification is going to be considered as a block, even though it can be bypassed. So let's get started. Here's the first malware URL on Edge and on Chrome. So Ed says that the publisher of gy.exe couldn't be verified, so I'm going to consider that as a block since this is in red and it looks like a warning. Chrome quite clearly blocks it saying that the site ahead contains harmful programs. So Chrome does a better job although they both score. So it's one out of five. That's a good start for both browsers. Let's continue. Here's link number two. Once again, both browsers managed to block it. Again, Microsoft Edge says the publisher could not be verified and Chrome says the site contains harmful programs. Let's proceed to link number three. Link number three is able to bypass Google Chrome, so that's a miss. And it's also able to bypass Microsoft Edge. So our browsers both remain stuck at two. Let's try link number four. It's blocked by Chrome, but Microsoft Edge allows us to reach the website. So that's a miss for Edge and a block for Chrome. So Chrome moves on to three. Here's the last malware URL. This time it's Edge that has managed to give us an alert while Chrome says it's fine. It's good to go. Well, the scores are tied. It's three out of five for both. So it's the phishing URLs that will decide the winner. We've got five very nice fish over here. Um, oh, they're really tasty. I mean, um, I'm not really a big fish eater, but I'm sure they taste really good, like salmon or tuna or whatever you like. Let's try them out and uh, let's see how much our browsers like them. So here's our first phishing URL. Chrome says deceptive site ahead, so that's clearly a block. I think this website pretends to be PayPal. After waiting a long time on Microsoft Edge, it seems like this poor fish has already been killed and eaten. So I got a new one. So this is a dead link. We're going to try a different one. Let's see how both of these browsers deal with the replacement. Edge allows it to load. This is a Facebook imposter. Google Chrome blocks it saying deceptive site ahead. So that's Chrome 1, Edge 0. Let's move on. Here's link number 2. Once again, Chrome manages to block it while Microsoft Edge thinks that we have successfully navigated to Citibank's website. Get ready to throw away your account numbers. Time for link number three. It seems like this one is dead too, so we'll need a replacement. A lot of dead fish in the sea today. Here's a fresh fish, so let's try it out. 
Let's go Chrome first. Once again, site is blocked. But on Microsoft Edge, it gets us to a fake Yahoo Mail page. Here's the next URL. Hmm, it's interesting because it's about Microsoft. Microsoft official support. Oh my goodness, it has loaded on Microsoft Edge. And see what it says. Your computer has been blocked. Please call us immediately. Looks like this one leads to a tech support scam. Oh yeah, and uh, the pop-up doesn't go away. Luckily, most browsers have included a new option to deal with nuisance like this. These guys are all over the place. Alert from Microsoft. Your computer has alerted wow. us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. Yep, totally. The virus is sending your credit card details, yep. Facebook login, and further. The only thing missing is the Indian accent. I am from Microsoft. Let me help you with your computer. So, oh my goodness, look. <laughs> I totally got off track. That was so crazy. Let's try it on Chrome and see what happens. Once again, deceptive site blocked. So that's pretty amazing. And the funny thing is Microsoft doesn't block its own imposter, but Google Chrome does. So that's kind of funny. Let's try out the last URL. Once again, Chrome has managed to block it saying deceptive site ahead and um, Microsoft Edge just has no clue. So that's a zero for Edge and a five for Chrome making it the stark differentiator in terms of uh, security and when it comes to phishing Google is clearly the king and has got its things sorted out. People are right when they say that you know, detecting phishing websites is Google's bread and butter because they work on the indexing stuff. And that difference is clearly apparent here. So in total, Edge only manages a 3 out of 10 while Chrome manages an 8 out of 10. Now keep in mind though, I do not recommend not running any other security and just relying on your browser just to be clear. This is a test just to give you a heads up as to which browser blocks more malicious websites, but there are still a lot of websites that will go through both of these browsers. It's just one of the many layers of security that you need to have. But I'm sure you guys know that already. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Let's have a nice discussion in the comments below. Check out some of my other videos and as always, Stay informed, stay secure.